The easiest way to simplify this completely is to take it apart. So we are going to look at the square root of 98, we're going to look at the square root of 8, and we're going to look at the square root of 32. If you want to simplify the square root of 98, all we have to do is look for perfect squares. Well, 98 is really just 49, 49 is a perfect square, times by 2. Well, square root of 49, since it's a perfect square, is 7. 7 times 7 is 49. Square root of 49 would be 7. And the 2 is not perfect, so the 2 is going to be left inside. Remember, if it's not a perfect number, it stays inside the square root. If it is a perfect number, it gets put on the outside. The next one is square root of 8. Square root of 8 is really 4 times 2. 4 is perfect. That is 2 times 2. So square root of 4 is 2. And we're left with 2 being inside because the other 2 is not perfect. The next number is square root of 32. We need to find a perfect square that goes into this. And that perfect square is 16. This is 16 times 2. 16 is perfect. Square root of 16 is 4 because 4 times 4 is 16. And we're left with 2 inside. Okay, well, all we have to do now is just remember what the positives and negatives are. So we have the square root of 98, which is 7 square root of 2, minus by square root of 8, which is minus by 2 square root of 2, and then plus square root of 32, which is 4 square root of 2. So all we have to do is just do our addition and subtractions. Notice that all of these have square roots of 2. So this becomes a square root of 2 in the bottom, and all we have to do is figure out how many of these we have. Well, we have seven of them. We're taking two away. That gives us five. And then we're adding four more onto that. So this is going to be nine square root of two. And that is our answer.